The European Green Deal is the answer of the European Union to dealing with the ecological crisis we are facing. In order to finance such a transition, the EU plans to turn to private investors, risking that the transition will be unjust and unable to fully address the climate crisis. Well, isn't this the never-ending story of capitalism? But there are alternatives to financing a fair ecological transition. The first step is to look at alternative sources of money instead of private investments, starting by taxing the rich and polluting activities more fairly. We can also consider mechanisms such as debt cancellation. The European Central Bank owns much of the debt of the European states, which means it could relieve part of this debt and derive the money for this ecological transition. It is also necessary to consider publicly controlled banks, such as Belfius in Belgium, and others that could be converted into real public banks, like El Instituto de Crédito Oficial in Spain. These banks can play a key role because they are in a unique position to focus on social needs instead of profit and growth. To assure this, there is a need to develop a solid framework and criteria about what makes an investment truly sustainable, just, and green. Public banks should therefore prioritize investments that are needed for the transition and not only considered by big corporations. Take into account the social and gender dimensions as well as social rights, housing, health, education, Consider the impacts on the Global South, such as extractivism or deforestation. And making it a priority to invest in the public sector and enable governments to strengthen public ownership. By doing this, projects that are crucial for the ecological transition and social welfare will remain controlled by the public. And we, as a society, will be able to decide how to divide our wealth while staying within the planetary boundaries. Instead of focusing on private investments aimed at making profits, we must enable partnerships between communities and public institutions, seeing as they have basic human needs and collective interests at heart. Can you imagine a transition where communities, cooperatives, labor unions, and social movements play a prominent role? So in conclusion, financing a real, just, and green transition requires obtaining money by taxing the rich and canceling debt instead of depending on private, profit-seeking investors. Creating real public banks that finance real transformative projects.